Okay. This is a certified true copy of my live statement of birth. You can get this by applying for it at the Registrar General. They'll give it to you. And it's very interesting because this is where it all began. This is the foundation document. All identification is generated from this document. And so if the foundation document is no good, anything that's made from it is no good. That means driver's licenses, health cards, everything. Now what they did here, this is exactly what he meant when he said, soon every American will be required to register their biological property. Now your parents didn't realize what they were doing when they filled this out, and these didn't exist before 1933. Birth records were recorded in scripture. And these only came into being in 1933 when they hatched this plan. They created a corporate fiction with a name just like yours. See this here? They framed you. See these tracks? They railroaded you. There's a child hidden behind the record. This is the record. You can't harm a child in law. So they had to protect you behind the record. And you operate a corporation. Now, this line right here is called the delineation, a line of delineation, which means anything below it can be changed. This line underneath my surname talk to anyone who edits legal documents or who's in printing and they'll tell you that to underline something means that it's an error and it has to be changed. In doing this, they registered and monetized the spirit and soul of a living being. The date, there's one that says June 12th. What is that? Uh, that's the date I got this. Okay. That's the date of issue. This is, this is a certified copy. There's two stamps, notarized by a lawyer, and signed off. So this is, a, this is a true copy of the original. And the reason why it says June 12, 2009 is because that's when I requested this, and that's when they gave it to me. Now, from that, they created... This is where it gets really bad. They created this document. Now, in law, a certificate, think gold certificate, think silver certificate. A certificate is like a share in something. And this is a legal document, and it's called a certificate. But here it says extract, which in law means a tax. My name is spelt in all capitals here. So is yours. So is your driver's license, your health card, anything you get from the government. Your name is spelt in all capital letters. And when you use any government identification, you are identifying yourself as a corporation and you are existing within the jurisdiction of corporate law. And just because you didn't know what you're doing, that's, that's no excuse. It doesn't exonerate you from liability. You're participating. The only way out is non-compliance. Don't participate. Now, this is... See this red number here? People may wonder, gee, why is there a red number on the back of my birth certificate? Well, this is a Class A share because I'm born in Canada. The letter at the beginning of the number is called a CUSIP number. All securities require a CUSIP number. And that's what this is. This is a security, this is a share which represents me. This is held as collateral to secure the national debt. There was a bankruptcy in 1933 and the central bankers came in and said, we have a mechanism whereby you can continue to conduct commerce 
even though you're bankrupt and there's no money, pledge your citizens as collateral. That happened in 1933, the bankruptcy. And that, by no coincidence, is...